Hey, I'm back with a video on B1 deficiency. Now, I've done all the videos talking about B1 thiamine uh, related to a lot of different things. This one is about B1 deficiency after you take antibiotics. Now, before I begin, uh, I'm filming on Zoom with a mic that makes me sound like I have a cold, which I don't. The camera makes my nose look bigger and my head bigger and my body smaller. So no, I didn't lose weight. It's just a new camera and a new mic for the location that I'm in. Okay. So let's talk about B1 deficiency after antibiotics. Now there's quite a few different antibiotics that can create a B1 deficiency. Uh, Cipro, I listed a bunch of other ones, the penicillins, the sulfa antibiotics, and there's quite a few others. In fact, there's over 60 generic versions also in this list. Now, what you have to realize is vitamin B1 comes from your diet, but it also comes from your microbes. And as you kill them off with taking an antibiotic, you can end up with a B1 deficiency and other deficiencies as well. Here are some of the symptoms. ADD, anxiety, agitation, nervousness, lack of memory, uh, in some cases, severe hypoglycemia, even to the point where you can actually go into a coma. Tendinitis, and check this out, tendon rupture. Now, why in the heck would someone get a tendon rupture after taking an antibiotic? And what's the relationship to vitamin B1? Well, vitamin B1 doesn't just deal with carbohydrate metabolism, it deals with amino acid metabolism as well. And if you're deficient in B1, you're not going to be able to transport certain branch amino acids to make your collagen. So it can set you up with all sorts of weaknesses within the collagen formation. There's also an enhanced warning, disabling and potentially permanent side effects involving tendons, muscles, joints, and nerves. And this is displayed on the paperwork when they give you this antibiotic. Also, it can create irreversible peripheral neuropathy. So if you're in a situation where you have to take an antibiotic, I would highly recommend you not only take a probiotic at the same time, but also take your B vitamins in the form of nutritional yeast. So this video is just about increasing your awareness on another reason why you might end up with a B1 deficiency. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call, but I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.